super excited the people are coming to show me the samples for the floors tonight so hopefully we can get this shit together in this house of mine my house is in disarray so yeah i'm just headed to work drop the ham off at the bus stop y'all be doing a lot of stuff before i leave the house like i had to call my alarm company do some troubleshooting situations Iron clothes, get children up, tell children to apply for jobs, all of that before I left the house at 620. <laughs> like, I be mean, getting it in in the morning, okay? Too much, too much to do list. Um, yeah, I'm heading to work today. I had to ask y'all a question. Then tell me if y'all do this because uh, you would think common sense would tell you, you know, to get it together. So, I got a text yesterday that said, hey, pretty lady, it's been years. If it's been years since you talked to me and you have my phone number, why you don't think you need to identify yourself? What makes you think I still have your number in my phone? You'd be like, hey, pretty lady, it's been years. This is such and such. You know, you'd let them know who you are because I'm going to tell you now, I texted them back this morning because that was yesterday and I didn't pay any attention and then my phone died. And when I charged it back up this morning, it said, they had texted me again talking about, hey, can you talk? Well, first of all, I don't know who the hell you are. So, no, we can't talk about shit. So, I texted back this morning. I'm like, hello, I'm sorry. I don't know who this is. Now, if you don't identify your, no, yourself, your ass will get blocked. Okay. So, people, if you haven't talked to somebody in years, don't think they saved your phone number. Tell them who you are when you text them. Yeah, some people who I just met and gave my number, they may not have saved. I still be like, hey, this is such and such. <laughs> like get it together because I don't know who you is and how you gonna talk about hey can we talk and you just assume and I know who you are because there's no previous text message and you're not saved to my phone which means we probably ain't talking about five six years because I have some numbers in there for some years ago because I usually don't delete numbers just depending on the situation um you know or whatever the case may be so if you got deleted or you ain't in there we probably ain't friends for real so that's why i didn't know who the hell you is and then you texted me i don't know if they called me because tell you the truth i don't answer numbers that are not programmed into my phone so yeah that and if you don't leave a message i, I don't know what to tell you because i'm not gonna call your ass back because i don't know who he is i ain't gonna do it am i the only one who do that i don't think so probably not I know y'all do it too. Somebody out there do it too. Like if you're not programming my phone, I don't answer. If you don't leave a message, that's just on you. I had to tell that man the other day, somebody was calling me, one of the adjusters was calling me by the insurance company before I, um, before I, uh, they got the check and stuff. And he was like, I was calling. I said, well, you ain't leave no message. Like if you calling somebody phone, leave a damn message if they don't answer. What is wrong with people not wanting to leave messages nowadays? I mean, back when you had voicemail and answer machines and all this shit, y'all left messages, leave a message. If it's something, if you want somebody to call you back, how is somebody going to know to call you back? If they don't know who you are. You know good and well that these folks don't have your insurance numbers programmed in their phone. If they do, you most of the time they call, call back from a different number. So the number you got programmed ain't even the right number. It's like one of those generic numbers that supposed to dial out at every department but don't do it all the time. So I am like, leave a damn message. It's like, well, um, your phone, your voicemail just says, I was like, but you can still leave a message. I'm like, this message is for such and such, such and such. Please give blank and blank a call back at blank and blank. You don't have to use identifying messages. I know about HIPAA and all that stuff. As long as you don't say what it's about or anything like that or old money or this or that and the other thing, you can leave a message come back. And then my friend, she, Erica, she uh, tried to set me up on a blind date, you guys. We was talking about it yesterday. I was like, yeah, I guess I'm open. We're cool or whatever. So she texted me yesterday when I was driving and said that she um, gave the person my number. And I was driving, so when I drive, my little cell phone sends out the little message that says, I can't talk right now, I'm driving, you know, the one the little AT&T got. And um, she called me, she's like, girl, what is this message? I said, that's an automatic message that my phone feels 
sends out when it knows that I'm driving. She's like, I never heard of that. I was like, yeah, they had it around for years. I said, you have to turn it on, you know, for it to work. But they've had it for years. And so, uh, she's like, how they know you driving? I said, girl, you know they do the GPS, girl. They be tracking our ass. The government be tracking us, okay? She don't like stuff like this, so she'll never turn it on. But she was like, uh, I gave the guy your number. He's going to call about 9 o'clock. I said, girl, don't you know this past my bedtime? I said, you ain't tell that boy go to bed at 8.30. <laughs> She's like, yo, Chanel, stay up for him. Stay up. I was like, okay. <laughs> Stayed up. Nobody did my damn phone die. So if he called last night, he got all the straight to voicemail, phone off type situation. She gonna kill me. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so old. She's like, yo, how you gonna go on a date if your bedtime at 8 30? I said, girl, if we planning a date, and you telling me ahead of time, I know how to take a nap so I can stay up past my bedtime. I said, but if you don't tell me ahead of time, shit, I might fall asleep on your ass. I might yawn on you. I might just be real tired, okay? She was so funny. She was laughing. She was like, girl, you have got to get together. I'm like, girl, I be in the bed. Damn, man, my ass is tired. I work all this overtime. I'm old, tired. 8.30 it is. Shit, sometime before 8.30, depending on if I lay down long enough. <laughs> and that's a yesterday. I didn't go to work yesterday. I came home, took a shower, whatever. Got in my pajamas, and I don't even know what time I went to bed. It was before Big Ham, cause I remember Jalen was watching a movie, and I remember the movie still being on. And I don't remember her coming in to say good night last night. So she must stay up past her bedtime, cause she just don't be doing right either. But yeah, girl, I told you. She told that boy. Uh uh. Be up past my bedtime. <laughs> I don't know your girl to be driving me up past my bedtime though. So yeah, that was my little adventure yesterday. But yeah, that's all I'm doing, you guys. So I will see y'all uh later on today. Okay, bye. Alright, you guys. No, it's still at the curb. Did so they empty? Yeah, they did, yes. Oh, uh, they emptied it yesterday. Look at y'all. My mom done went platinum, y'all. Look. No, it's supposed to be platinum. Huh? It's supposed to be, yeah. Platinum. Yeah, platinum. Look yeah. at my mom. Y'all like her here? I'm so not used to it. I got to get used to it. I think it look good, though. Jaden Rose. Jaden Rose get used to it. My mama called her Storm, but Storm has silver hair, not platinum. <laughs> Jalen. Yeah. Are you still in the bathroom? You so slow. I want you to see grandma hair. Look at grandma hair. Oh, I look at it right here. I look at it right here. She is. Oh my gosh. Oh, let me show you the floors that I picked out. I hope you like them. It took me a minute because they didn't have very many options. Yeah, I know you. you but I like them. Mara, you think about things. Oh, too overthinking. Too overthinking. Yeah. So, I took pictures. I had to get his. Uh, so I guess my car this was home. Oh, I like that kill. She opened me up. I like mm -hmm. that. And so the kids are getting this towel. In the bathroom? Yeah, because he said do not put laminate in the bathroom with kids. He's making a mess. See, oh. that towel sort of matches what the yeah. laminate was. Yeah. So this is the towel and that's the floor. Okay, you like that? I do. He's going to put this from... Uh, the kitchen, living room, hallway, laundry room are going to be laminate and the towel is going to be in the bathroom. Okay. Alright. When they going to start to get on this mess? Uh, he said they would call me. Okay. When they, they're but he said usually within a couple days they out. It don't take like two to three days. Mm -hmm. Mom got to leave work early today. The computers went down. And they was like, well, since y'all can't do nothing, go home. i like, I'm out of here for y'all change y'all mind before these computers come back up. You would. They, you would. We were just talking about this. <laughs> you, you got. I tell folks, I got plenty of PTO time. The other folks like, we ain't got no PTO time. Whatever. I'm out of here. Y'all can stay in if you want to. <laughs> All right, bye, y'all. I just want to show you my mom here. Look at her hair. Look at that Yanti's car. Yanti, look at my niece. Oh, I can't put her phone number on there because y'all ain't gonna hurt. Look at my niece. Isn't she pretty? She's a uh, certified makeup artist. Mm -hmm. Certified license. Yeah, license. A licensed makeup artist. And in September, she's gonna be a licensed cosmetologist. So she's gonna be making book money. That girl love her job. I already told her I was her first client ever. And don't be trying to diss me when she get a chair. That they love her job. She do. I'm glad. Yeah. That means that people who love their job will make the most money yeah. and will never feel like work. And that's who people who do the best when you love what you do. She told me, she said, Grandma, by this time, that you don't have all food. That's if I had money, I'd buy you a bill to let you rent it out to rent it. Now, once a month, that's mm -hmm. charging me for a whole bunch of money. For booth rent, yeah. like other people do. Yeah, just mm -hmm. charging once a month. Yep. Put so. other folks out of business. Right.
Okay, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Good morning. Happy Friday. I'm running super late. It's 7 06. I probably won't get to work off of my 7 45. So, right for me. It really has more brownish grayish tones. He showed me a gray one, but it was too dark. I didn't like how dark the gray was. I wanted like a, a lighter gray, something to brighten up the room. And that will that's more of a, the neutral side, no matter which way that I go. And I feel like the oatmeal that I got is going to be perfect, perfect, perfect. So I'm super excited about that. I hope it turns out great, but you know, it's going to be down there, so that's it, what it is. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'll probably get them to do the den too. I'm not really sure yet. Um, when I told him, you know, he forgot to take measurements yesterday. I meant to get him to take measurements so he can give me a quote on the den so I know how much it would cost and what I wanted to get done. Because what I'm thinking is they're going to charge me to take up the carpet, of course. And I can take the damn carpet on myself. Like, I can pull some shit out. Okay. So might next time they come back the carpet might be up like in the living room so it can cost me less money like i'll do some shit to make so it won't be that much <laughs> you know what i'm saying i didn't look at the estimate oh he had a bad accident he had a nice truck too cool thing um well i got digress being nosy like the uh, on uh, what's it uh bystanders what's it called when you onlookers <laughs> delay um so yeah, I think I'm really gonna like the floor. I'm gonna love the tile in the bathroom. So yeah, we're, 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 we're getting shit done, y'all. So I did tell you guys there was gonna be more, like it would be additional charge because I wasn't replacing what was damaged. So the insurance company will only pay to replace carpet. They will only pay to replace linoleum, but I didn't want that. So I think I had to pay an extra $1,200 for what I wanted which is no big deal, but I had already paid them an extra $500, so I'm only going to have to pay them $700 for it, so, you know, $1,200, that's not bad for a new floors throughout almost the whole house, most of the common areas, like, nobody, if somebody closed their, bath, their bedroom door, you won't be able to tell, um, the only place, of course, that didn't get done was the den, which I'm okay with that, so, I don't know, you guys, I'm, I think I'm really good with, uh, gonna turn out I can't wait 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 to see what my new floor is gonna look like but I ain't doing nothing as usual I'm headed to work and I hope these computers are up today because I got shits to do I hate when stuff go down and you behind and you didn't plan it like I ain't plan to be behind it's Fridays are my chill days as y'all know like I get shits done through the week so Friday I don't have to do that much Way it's working out if the computer's up i'm sure i got plenty plenty to do so i will um see you guys a little bit later okay. all right you guys we're out and about i'm already about to go get my hair cut me and Jalen going to get our nails done and i well she get her nails done i don't get my nails i'm gonna get my feet done um it is hot it's 93 degrees one o'clock. Oh, can I borrow your charger right quick? Can I borrow your charger right quick? Can I borrow all your stuff? Can I have everything you own? No. No, you cannot. It's mine. 
they didn't like to share with the little kids. They always make you share with them. They don't want to share with little kids, so the kids are gonna get jacked for lunch. So we're gonna stop by there, and then um, I don't know what I'm gonna eat. But I'm gonna find me something. So yeah, we'll see y'all a little bit later. All right. Woo! Oh, good God Almighty! Who was that? I don't know, good Lord oh, Jesus. Us. Okay. Woo! Let me get off here. Bye, y'all. We finished showing your nails, Jalen. That's Jalen's nails. She got this loud ass color. Because it's cute. And then her toes. Oh, let me see. If they can see. Can y'all see her toes? Hold on, let me carry it. Right yeah. Yeah. Show your toes. Oh. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, I don't want to. Yeah, those are my nails right there. Yeah. I like that little design. He did a good job with your design. Yeah, they showed it. I think that's the cutest one I've seen you give you. You should give them a dime. I don't want to design on my damn toes. I'm too old for that. I'm trying to give me design my toes, y'all. Uh, no, normal kiosh. Y'all, I finally got my eyebrows done. Don't they look so much better? Because I be around here looking unruly with my eyebrows. It makes me come look completely different when I get my eyebrows done. <sighs> I'll be back unruly in a couple of weeks. Or whatever. Yeah, they look good. Good when they get done though. Can't tell me nothing. Let me see if y'all can see my toes. Let me see. Let's see. Look at my toes. I got like a like a pinkish color. Got glitter in it. Like a light pink. Excuse my ashy feet. I don't know why. They do not have the best lotions at nail places. They give you lotion, lotion and then your, your feet be ashy two seconds later. I'm like, what kind of damn bootleg lotion is this? What kind of bootleg? bootleg. <laughs> All right, you guys. We'll see y'all later. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Back home from all of today's adventure. I am getting ready to sit down in my papa's lunch, chill. Yeah? Sorry, I'm trying to close my bathroom door and um about to sit down in my papa's lawn chair and eat my spaghetti y'all know i love my churro got some spaghetti and a sprite these are my clothes that i just fold up i'm about to put them up um my toes are done you guys i have to hang these clothes and then but i did clean up my room today so it's looking really really good right about now hello and, uh, Jayla's playing a game now later she said she wanted to watch a movie with me so I'm just gonna watch Law and Order until she ready to watch movies or whatever she wants to do she might not ever come in here and watch movies to tell you the truth so it is what it is I'm about to eat dinner and go to bed so I will see y'all tomorrow tomorrow's Mother's Day so I'll be seeing y'all tomorrow
what up? Hello, how are y'all today on this good Wednesday? It seems like it want to rain, but it really don't know if it want to rain. It's raining in one spot, then I drive, it stops raining, I'll we'll drive some more, and it'll be raining again. So, I'm assuming it's going to come down sooner rather than later. I promise to come close out the vlog, you guys. So, I am... What am I doing? I forgot that quick. I'm headed to job number two. Okay, I'm headed to job number two to make this money, make this money. And I had a very slow day at work today. Everything went well. Nobody had no crazy stuff. Because if y'all don't know, my boss is on vacation for two weeks. And I've been training since... When did I move? I've been training about two months maybe two or three months on this new on her how to do her job I guess which eventually be my job or part of my job I don't know what I don't know but she gone and so your girl's gonna be tough so I hope they don't give me nothing when I don't know what I'm doing okay I really hope they don't give me nothing it be like she be fired because she don't know what she doing okay but she had said she had comforted me and I guess I, I, sometimes I just freak out when I get stuff and I need to take a day or a chill pill or take a walk and come back and then my mind again. It's sort of like test. To me it's sort of like a test. And I panic at the beginning of a test and think I'm going to flunk and all this other kind of stuff and then I end up having good grades. So I need to get the, the anxiety of that. Not knowing what I'm doing and looking incompetent. I have anxiety when it comes to that. I hate to look like I don't know what I'm doing or I'm incompetent on something that I've been trained on. Of course, if I'm learning, you're going to make mistakes, blah, blah, blah. Putting stuff together, blah, just follow directions, blah, blah, blah. But that kind of stuff, I can't do it. You ain't looking at me like I'm crazy at work. Nope, not, not, not this one. So I'm headed to um, job number two. Good news. Hopefully, the flooring will be delivered tomorrow. And it has to acclimate to my house. Isn't that a nice big word? Acclimate. I think that's what the lady said. If she, that ain't what she said. I apologize for all the people who know what the hell that means. Anyway, they, I think they said it would need to acclimate to my house. Like, sit in my house, get used to the temperature, blah, 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 whatever's going on in there. And then, they'll either fix the sheet up tomorrow while they're there. Or, 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 they will do it all on Monday. He said they'll probably be back Monday to install the floors. But, oh no, I know what he said. He said Friday they probably can go ahead and install the tile is what they said. Either Thursday or Friday. One of them days they said something like that. So I will know more about that hopefully tomorrow because they said the flooring usually comes in the afternoon. They'll pack it up and ship it. If not Friday's fine I guess. I don't really know. But the good news is I will have new floors, hopefully before I go out of town for Memorial Day. So yeah, it's only been a month in the making, <laughs> a month or two in the making, a month and a half and a quarter in the making. But hey, I, I got patience. <sighs> so yeah, I'm just headed to job number two, y'all. I'm tired. I will see y'all later. Okay, bye from work it's like 8 31 y'all hear that is literally thundering outside and lightning and stuff and so put y'all up here um it's literally thundering and lightning outside right now and um yeah your girl about to get in the bed for real for i'm about to put this bonnet on my head go hop in the shower right quick and take my butt to bed. I can take my pants off because y'all can't see me. <laughs> um, but yeah, for real though. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Um, it's thundering outside. So today went well. If you guys don't remember, my boss is on vacation, so uh, everything at the office is good. I um, can y'all see me? I um, I was gonna say. I can't remember what I was gonna say. Oh, it's gonna be quiet, I believe, while she's gone, which is a good thing. And um, I just pray nothing too complicated comes because I won't have I won't be able to ask her any questions, and I hate that. Um, and then uh good news about the flooring, they did call me back today, so hopefully they'll deliver it tomorrow or Friday. And they said they might be able to put the tile in tomorrow or Friday. Cause the, you've seen the kids' bathroom, their their floor is literally 
you turn around that's the whole floor so it shouldn't even take them that long to put tile down um and then they have to wait for the flooring to acclimate to the atmosphere in my home so hopefully they'll be able to put the flooring in next week sometime hopefully monday and they said it'll just take them a couple of days so maybe by the time we leave for atlanta everything will be up and running as it should they do have to fix some of the um sheetrock in the laundry room that they had to tear out stuff with um he promised me he was gonna build a damn door i need to ask if y'all still gonna build that damn door because that's what they need to do um and yeah so i think that's it with them and then i will be done with this and then they can tell me that it's been done i can send a letter to the insurance company that the home has been repaired to their standards and then they will send me the rest of the money to pay them and then we will be good to go and i will have my new laminate floors you guys i'm so excited so now i need to get hurry up and finish paint on this car so i can go ahead and get the den done so all the floors can match um and hopefully i'll be able to do that maybe the end of the year maybe it'll be my christmas present to myself or maybe the beginning of the year or maybe around income tax next year i don't know but it will get done because i want everything to match but yeah i just came to close out the vlog you guys so um i hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog and i will see y'all manana but next week if you're looking for a vlog all right bye you guys